we're at the Dallas Sneaker Convention. It is hot as hell, as you can tell by my sweat. But you know, we out here selling shoes. Um, I got um, five shoes that I'm about to show y'all. I'm with my girl. And yeah, hopefully we sell some shoes. I don't know, we'll see. But um, some people have offered, but kind of like $50 off my asking price. Um, I'm really looking for a set price because there's certain shoes that I want. I need some soul flies, I need Travis Scott sixes. And those are like high priced shoes. So I'd like to get the price that I'm asking for and not get a low ball uh, price. So hopefully we'll see what happens. If not, I might just sell it for what they're asking for and see. Yo, so that event was a lot. Um, I didn't even get to film too much content because I had to uh, stand my ground with my shoes. Um, so I didn't really get to film any vendors, but there were a lot of vendors at the venue. I'll probably find some video from someone to post up so y'all can see what the venue looked like inside. Um, but yeah, um, I was trying to get rid of some personals and um, also a size 13 in those Georgetowns, which uh, surprisingly, if you guys know Bo, Bo is a former employee um, of Cam's Kicks. Um, you might have seen him in um, a few or pretty much like a lot of videos from Common Hype. Maybe not of recently, but he has, you know, been featured in some of Common Hype's content. So if, I'll throw an image of who Bo is. But um, yeah, he actually bought the Georgetowns off me. Um, not what I asked. But it's cool, like I, I just wanted to get rid of it, um, as well as some personals, which I ended up throwing some stills on two other shoes, which is okay, you know, um, I didn't necessarily need them. So, you know, if somebody else can, you know, profit off of them, that's cool, it's, it's whatever. I just kind of wanted my money back because there's other stuff that I need to be buying in the future that I can't wait. Hopefully I can cop, you know, I really need those reverse mochas. I really need, um, those Travis Scott Air Maxes. Um, I'm on the fence when it comes to the trainers. I think I like the brown trainers, but they're both of them are nothing that I need. So I might not um, go for them, but we'll see. But yes, definitely need those reverse mochas. Um, I need those off-white Air Force Ones, the green pair. You know, I graduated from UNT. So look, that's my school color, me and green all day. So, you know, that will be great. But yeah, so I got some capitals that I can spend on other shoes in the future. I also bought um, a grail of mine, the SoFly 10s grail. Um, they came out last year. Um, I missed out on that release. I think a lot of people missed out on that release, but there were a lot of pairs and they were going for a lot. And I don't think people know this, but the market is really, really low on those right now. So if you've been eyeing them, I recommend copping now because they're pretty low. And I know bigger sizes are a bit higher. I know they're like 300, 400 range, but like smaller sizes, a steal, a steal. I think I paid like 400, or 400. I think I paid $40 over retail. So I recommend people to buy those if you really wanted those. Um, it has a great market right now, so it's not expensive unless you're like a size, I wanna say 10 or 11 and up, then it might be a struggle. But I mean, I think it's a beautiful shoe and it's something that's definitely limited and definitely a standout piece. I guess you can say that you have a soul fly shoe in your collection, so. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the little sneaker event vlog. Um, I wish I was able to film more content for you guys, but there was a lot going on. Um, I couldn't really think about filming vendors and stuff. And then by the, the, before I even knew it, it was time to go. And drone footage came after the show. So there was a lot going on then too, outside. Um, some person was asking everybody for money and standing very close. So I couldn't even think about getting too many drone shots. But I, nonetheless, I hope y'all definitely enjoyed um, that little clip. But I also wanted to add a review of the Jordan 2s. They finally came in and here's some B-roll of them. Jordan 
two bucks. As you can see, it says Holiday 21. These were supposed to release back in December for the holidays, but obviously due to, I guess, late shipments, it was not able to release. That is also why we have so many Union releases lately. We had the Dunks and we had these because the Dunks were supposed to release early this year and these were supposed to release before the Dunks in December. But I guess that they had the shipment for the Dunks first, so they went ahead and did the release for the Dunks first and then they did the release for the Twos after that. So I was um, able to cop the Dunks. Um, I wasn't that big of a fan of the Dunks, so I went ahead and let them go. I don't think I posted that. But yes, I did cop the, the Dunks. I cop the Argons, and I wasn't too much of a fan, so I let it go to someone um, close by. He lives like about an hour away from me, so I went ahead and let him go and gave them to him. But we're not here to talk about the Dunks. We're here to talk about these beautiful Rattan tubes. Here you go. And yes, I'm a size eight, so this might look a little bit small. <laughs> But uh, yes, it's a beautiful shoe. Um, I like the yellow hints. Now, honestly, I think nonetheless, my favorite is the other pair. But I have a lot of blue shoes going on. So I was like, you know what? I don't have anything yellow in my collection, so I'm going for the Rattans. And the fits that I've seen people put, um, put on with these, I'm glad I went with these and not the other ones. Because I feel like... This is a lot better of a fit than the blue ones. I, obviously with the blue ones, you'd wear blue or something with blue, but these are more versatile to me and I like that about them. So here's the back of the shoe. You got Nike at the top right here. This is all made out of suede. And then you have this canvas material here. <clears throat> now my favorite part about the shoe is this leather interior. Now I have a shoe that does have leather in it. Um, and those fit pretty normal. Um, I'm sure these are gonna be a little bit stiffer since it's a higher cut, and so it's gonna need some breaking into, but that's my favorite part of the shoe. Woo! Man, that's, that's nice. That's a little nice little luxury um, touch to the shoe, especially for the price. I need that extra bit of luxury for that price. Um, secondly, we got these lace bags. You got the one that comes with the shoe. And then a yellow one that kind of matches the UN, let me see if I can see that, the UN LA right there. And then you have these perforations on the sides. Let's see a bit over here. You got the perforations on the sides that resemble the Jordan 13. Um, like Union is known to do, they like to put one shoe with another shoe. And for this one, it's the Jordan 2 and the Jordan 13, which is why you see all these perforations on these um, on the collar of the shoe as well as the box. Um, so it gives you that little 13 vibe. You also have holes that kind of match the perforation, which I like. Not all or not all Jordan 2s have this. Usually it's just plain and it's just, you know, a little swoosh, I guess, on the side. Um, but yeah, very luxurious, nice, um, and suede. Um, only thing is, it's basically a boot. So yeah, this is a boot shoe. So if you don't have Tim's or something, this is a good replacement. Um, it's a nice two. I feel like it's higher than a Jordan 1. I might be wrong, it's probably the same height, but to me it's a little bit higher. It gives you more of a boot feel and I, I love it. You got the little blue hint on the bottom. Um, if you have blue laces, it might may look good with it depending on what um, clothing you're wearing. But yeah, you have the Holiday 21 here. Um, I'm trying to figure out what kind of, it's like a fake leather wrap. It's like a paper leather. I can't explain it, but that's what this is here. And yeah, beautiful shoe, beautiful, beautiful shoe. You got the foam exposed on the top of the tongue here. You got leather on the inside of the tongue as well. And then it's just that regular canvas outside outside the tongue that's just like on the toe box um obviously i have a glue stain here so i guess quality control wasn't the best on all of these pairs but yeah be careful with these shoes because it is suede so stuff will get caught on this 
um, it's just inevitable but I mean if you're um, if you're good with your shoes like I am then you should be fine now this is my first Jordan 2 so I don't know if this is true to size I don't know if it's small I don't know if it's too big like I'm not sure I haven't tried it on but I'm assuming they're true to size hopefully crossing fingers but I know that leather is gonna make it seem like it's a little bit small but I know it's just gonna have to um, you know break in a bit now if you happen to miss out on this release um, the market is pretty low right now so it's perfect for you to purchase um, it's going like a little bit above retail so that's a perfect spot um, as well as the gray fogs are supposed to release again on sneakers app on May 26th um, along with other apparel um, I'd like to get like a t-shirt or something to match these which would be great but it'd probably be the gray fog apparel I'm not sure we'll have to see but um yeah so there's an opportunity there I will be going for them I want to do a review for the gray fogs um like I said I do have a lot of blue shoes but we all know I love blue so they may end up in the collection I don't know who knows we'll see here are the shoes together get a little a nice look at them Mm -hmm. Like I said, these look like boots, so, you know, a little, a little sturdy. Only thing is it's suede, so not really that sturdy because these can easily get dirty. But um, still a nice shoe, beautiful shoe, great shoe. I need to stop saying beautiful shoes. I've been noticing that in my uh, videos. But anyway, these are a great shoe. Um, can't wait to rock them. And yeah. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Salute.